Hello and welcome to Back to Bit. Today I'm going to give a very quick tutorial just to show you how easy it is to save a game using the uh, Spectrum Next system. Um, I've been asked this question a couple of times actually in conversations so I thought it would be easy for me to uh, quickly show you how easy it is to do this. Now it is quite simple to do if uh, you've got one of these machines and you've read through the uh, setup guide because uh, it does go through this method in a bit of detail but uh, if you're thinking about purchasing a Spectrum Next then you might find this useful. If you remember back in the day when you were playing adventure games or the role playing games, um, even the strategy games in fact like Game of Tom's Football Manager where you spend a number of hours playing a game, you save it and then come back again at a later date to continue your game. You still have to save these to cassette but with the next I'll show you how easy it is to save it to SD card. So all I do is load up a game, so I've chosen Horace Goes Skiing, a uh, great little 48k game. Now I must say at this point, you, this, this, this trick only works with 48k or 128 games. You can't use this with next games at the moment, uh, nor can you use it on the uh, plus three disc versions. But this is a great game to experiment with because we know how frustrating it is to get those skis when all you want to do is go skiing. So let's get across this road and then we'll save the game. Oh, no, there you go, exactly my point. Right, let's try it again. Yay, we got across the road. Right, now I want to make a save point. And all I need to do is press the yellow MMI button on the side of my next, which brings up this menu here, and I click on Snapshot. And then I go to my directory and what I tend to do is create a brand new directory under saved files. So go back to my root directory, go to home and go to my save directory. And you can create a directory quite easily by using the uh, key commands at the bottom of the screen. And you see I've already got a save game in there for Peter Pan. And at the bottom it says I can press enter to replace a snapshot or press space to create a new one. So that's exactly what I've done, create a new one and you save the snapshot as and you give it a file name. So for this instance I'm going to go for Horace Skiing. Once I've done that I'll simply press enter and it will save that snapshot right into that directory and you'll be sent straight back to this screen here. Now what I'll do I shall do a full reset on my next. I go to browser and I'll bring up my directory and it's already remembered it where it was anyway and I'll load this Z80 snapshot. And once it's loaded it should take me straight back to how I saved the game. There you go, it worked. Well I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much and I'll be back very soon. Take care, goodbye.